Yeah, thank you guys. Um, so as someone who comes from the Russian community here in Australia, I've been pretty outraged by the narrative created by our media depicting the Ukraine as the good guy and Russia as the bad guy. Believe it or not, there are a lot of Russians here and around the world that support what Putin uh, is doing in the Ukraine, myself included. Uh, since 2014, uh, the Ukrainian government, together with Nazi groups like the Azov Battalion, have besieged the Russian populations in the Donbass, killing an estimated 13,000 people, Can I... according to the United Nations. That's a lie. That's yeah. lie. Could I finish? Please? Just, just, just quick, quick, quickly finish and then, and then we'll come to yeah, that yeah. and put that to the panel. So yeah, my, my question is, you know, where was your outpouring of grief and concern for those thousands of mostly Russians? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> When, 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 when you mention, when you mention the 13,000, yeah. um, the United Nations has listed 13,000 total people killed yeah. since the conflict. But you're, try, you're trying to suggest that is Russians killed by Ukrainians, and I think we need to point out that that the United Nations has pointed out there is 13,000 killed since the conflict began in 2014. So we need to be very clear on that. Yeah. Um, can, can, can I yeah. just can I just put this now, leaving aside your, your personal views on this, can I just put that question, I'll, I'll go to you, Jason, on this. The idea that there is a moral equivalence or there is two sides, we know that Vladimir Putin has said that there were provocations as he sought, the, the uh, encroachment and enlargement of NATO. He has claimed there is a genocide in, in the Donbass, which has not, the evidence has not been presented to support that. But the allegation here that there are two sides of this or provocations that led to this, how do we look at this in its totality without diminishing what's happening on the ground <laughs> and bring some, some... Is that possible? It's really simple, Stan. There is no moral equivalency to murder. Just because someone is murdered does not give you the right to murder someone else. Secondly, the sovereignty of a nation cannot be simply wiped out because one individual decides without evidence that he's going to do that. And this is critical. We live in a world at the moment that is managed by rule of law. If we change that to a position where people just get to decide what they want to do because they've got more guns than the next person, that is not a world I want to live in. And I don't think it's a world anyone wants J to live Jason, in. Jason, can, can, can I also go, go to you on, on this point, and that is that you have... Uh, Russian heritage yourself, and your, yeah. your grandparents come from the Soviet Union. Well, my and when grandmother. Your gra gra yeah. grandmother. <laughs> but your, your grandparents came from the Soviet Union. Well, no, my, it, it's very anyway. Complex. It's very yeah, yeah. families are complicated. Section forty-four. Okay. You know, it's all on the public but, record. But, but, when, <laughs> but when you hear this, that there are Russians supporting Vladimir Putin, as we heard, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I, I don't care. Hmm. I don't care. There, there, there are international laws. And, I mean, to your point, um, Stan, which, which goes to Dennis's point, there are no good endings to this. Mm. I mean, we sit here back in Australia and we go, well, one country's invaded another. That's wrong under international law. Let me tell you the people sitting in those countries. If you're Poland, you've had a 1,000 years of people marching through your country and for 600 years you were wiped off the map. How do you think the people of Poland are going to feel when you have Russian troops sitting on their border, the people of Latvia, of Lithuania, they're not... They're, this is not going to end well unless the West is incredibly assertive about pushing back this unwarranted... Bre Brendan. Well, I think that th there's a real question here about the misinformation that's deployed by Putin. Um, firstly, whilst there are not... No-one's perfect, no independent states without corruption or issues, of course. And, and U Ukraine is a, a relatively young uh, democracy, uh, independence, I think, 30, just under 30 year, 31 years. Um, but Putin has been deploying misinformation uh, for, for years. Uh, I mean, he, he is undemocratic by nature. He kills off his opposition. He uses all forms of um, propaganda. And what he's done here, and not uh, what he's done here, is misrepresented uh, the conflicts that have happened within the Ukraine to serve a purpose. The sort of false flag assaults, where he contrives an attack and says it's Ukraine attacking dissidents in the Ukraine. Now, there might be occasions in which that conflict does happen, but it is also the case, and I believe the experts are right in suggesting that it is. Putin, that is quite often contriving these matters for his own purposes. Sasha, people here have been talking about family who are suffering, 
and people are dying. And I understand you wanted to ask your question about is there some reasoning for this, but you supported what's happening, hearing that people are dying. And can I just say I'm just not comfortable with you being here? Could, could you please leave? <laughs> I've, I, I've been... It's really... No, Sasha, I'm sorry. You, you, you can ask a question. You can ask a question, but we cannot advocate violence. I should have asked you to leave then. It's been playing on my mind, and I'm sorry, but I have to ask you to leave, please. OK, would I, could I... No, 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 please, please, please. Just, 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 just out of respect. Just, no, please, we're not having the conversation, Sasha. We, we can't have people advocating violence. And I should have asked you to leave. It's been playing on my mind. I wanted to have a, a proper conversation about these things, but I have to ask you to leave. I'm really sorry. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that, but, you know, these things happen. It's live television. You think about these things. It's really been troubling me that we can have a conversation and we can look at where, th where, where the arguments are and we can try to look at the sides of the argument. We can't have, have that, and I'm, I'm sorry. It should have happened earlier.